Hey guys, Mastic is back with another bit of a product review slash overview for you today. And I was recently contacted by Elgato who asked if I was interested in testing one of their game capture HDs. And of course I jumped at the opportunity to get one here and uh, give it a test. Uh, I've had it for about a week now and uh, I think I'm, I'm about ready to give a review. I didn't wanna just jump straight in without testing it. So I've tested it fairly extensively and even the last few videos I've uploaded to my channel were recorded on this particular product. So what this is gonna be is a, a few images to start with, a little bit of talk about the features and what comes with it and then we'll jump straight into the software and I'll see if I can explain some of the, the standout features of the software how it works, what it does, and I'll also try and link to some raw files so you can see the quality directly captured from the product itself. Uh, of course, you can see the box there and the product. The product itself uh, surprised me. It feels really, really high quality. A lot of products like this feel real plasticky, real flimsy. This thing's made out of really solid, high quality plastic. Uh, it just it feels good in the hand. You get a lot of products where you pick it up and it feels like if you like give it a squeeze it'd fall apart this thing feels really solid uh, it's got a really nice piano black finish on it very similar to uh, the xbox 360 with that real shiny shiny finish on it but uh, an absolute fingerprint magnet doesn't really matter because once it's plugged in it hides behind your tv or your monitor and it just sits there in the background doing its job uh, as far as what comes with it you get the product of course and you get this stack of cables so uh, you get a really long usb cable which is something that i wish more companies would do uh, they they would give you a decent length good quality usb cable it it means that i can move the product around comfortably and i can also have uh, my consoles where i want them to be without having to sort of move cables and move things around so very very uh, handy and very very good idea to include such a long usb cable ps3 cable of course is a dedicated ps3 cable it plugs into the back of your multi av output on your ps3 and then plugs directly into the elgato uh, or you could use the component video and audio adapter that also comes with it uh, that's what you would use if you wanted to use a component lead on your playstation or if you're using something like a wii a ps2 anything that basically had uh, a component video and audio output you can capture with this device of course uh, on the side of the device here, we've got the AV in, which is what we were just talking about. That's the multi audio video in, which you would use for the component video and audio, or that's what you use when you use the dedicated PS3 cable. An HDMI in, of course, when you're using something like an Xbox 360 or basically anything that has an HDMI out that is unencrypted. Uh, and of course, uh, recently it was announced that the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4 will both support HDMI capture devices. Maybe in the future, I believe that the PS4 is going to have to patch it in. I don't think it will be supported when it first is released, but they have definitely said they will be compatible. So this particular product will work with the Xbox One and the PS4 sometime in the future. Uh, of course, on the side there, you've got your HDMI out, which is your pass-through that goes to your television. You've got your USB port there, which carries the signal to your computer, and it also powers the device. Handy to have it powered via USB rather than having a little uh, power adapter. It just means it's much neater, much more portable. Uh, of course, you can see there it's compatible with the PS3. That's just an example setup. You've got the device plugged in, uh, and right next to that, of course, you've also got the Xbox 360. So very, very neat, very small unit. They're just images to sort of show you the scale and uh, to give you an idea of just how small the device is. What we'll do now, we'll jump straight into the software and I'll see if I can show you uh, some of the, like I said, the better features, uh, some of the things I think are really cool. And uh, yeah, we'll take you through the software. So we'll be back in a sec. All right, here we are in the Game Capture HD software. So this needs to be downloaded in order to use your Game Capture HD. Uh, it's a fairly small download, but it's a very, very powerful piece of software. Very, very nice. Let's get straight into uh, some of the better features. So we'll get into the settings first and show you what you can actually change. Uh, you can change where you can actually record to. So pick a space uh, or pick a drive where you've got a lot of free space. Uh, of course, you've got uh, enable flashback recording here, which is a feature that actually allows you to not really record all the time, but it will buffer a certain amount of video and then you can rewind it back and you can pull a highlight out of it. Very, very handy, especially if you didn't want to uh, have to record huge big files. If you were playing a game like Grand Theft Auto Online, uh, which we are basically playing in the background here, uh, it means that if something cool was to happen, 
you didn't have to be recording you can actually just rewind it pull that clip out and keep playing it's very very handy i'll explain a little bit more uh, a little bit later of course we've got the share tab here this is something that's very very cool in the way that uh, what you can do is you can set it up to share directly to youtube facebook twitter whatever you want you can uh, get stuff onto your ipad iphone apple tv uh, and you of course you can also just keep the raw files this does have a basic editor in it which means you can pull clips out and cut clips together uh, which is very very cool that's something also I'll, I'll sort of show you in a second of course it'll keep itself up to date if you keep this checked as well uh, and of course You've got the Game Capture HD here, so it tells you the device is active and it's currently using the 720p profile. If we click on this, uh, you can actually go to your profiles here. So we've got the Xbox 360 profile active. It's recording video and audio via HDMI. You can also uh, use analog audio, which is very, very handy if you wanted to actually use a mixer or something like that and have it inputting at the same time on analog audio. Very, very cool that they had that there. Uh, you can change your HDMI color range depending on the display you're using and your, your quality is just controlled with this slider so if we slide it all the way to the end at best uh, and I've also got this unchecked preserve source format so what that does is if you were to click that it'll mean it'll try its absolute best to record in the same frames per second uh, and the same resolution as what is being input so you see here our input is 128720 uh, and it's 59.94 frames per second uh, if we were to click this this will record at 1280720 at 60 frames a second which for youtube isn't ideal because youtube has to down convert it to 30 frames a second so if you're recording in 720p you're probably better off uh, to uncheck this particular box and it will record at 1280720 at 30 frames a second which is what youtube wants for 1080p you probably want to keep this checked so what that means is for 1080p it won't record anything higher than 30 frames a second uh, that's just a limitation of the device but if you did want 60 frames a second recording you can do it uh, at 1280720 you just need to make sure this button is checked uh, as far as your picture settings here you can change your brightness contrast uh, this will actually give you direct control over how it looks on the recording uh, if we go to audio here my controller is vibrating on the table <laughs> just move that uh, you've got an audio gain here you can change your audio uh, profiles you've got different profiles set for different systems different consoles if you wanted to actually just quickly change between different recording devices that's a way to do that and of course for advanced if you have troubles with the pass through if your tv drops in and out uh, you can actually change this around and it will try and fix that up for you uh, of course we've got game audio here i've had to have everything muted because of the way i'm recording the software otherwise it'd echo uh, but your game audio you've got control over it with the little dial and this is also a vu meter so if the game audio was running uh, this actually bumps up and shows you how uh, sort of how high your audio is set very very handy to balance your audio on the fly like this uh, same deal with your live commentary you hit this button here I can't hit it now otherwise it will echo uh, because of how I'm recording I've got like a capture card recording a capture card recording a capture card at the moment but uh, you can do your live commentary directly over the videos you're recording and you have complete control over the actual levels of your mic uh, and you can actually see it in the VU meter here as well which is very very handy uh, you can live stream directly from this product i haven't set it up but what you can do is you can set up your twitch tv or youtube accounts and you can live stream directly from this software no need for xsplit or obs or an external program uh, this is like your all-in-one software very very cool you can change your bit rate here depending on what your upload speed is uh, very very neat that you can actually live stream directly from this software and a very very cool feature as well is that when you are live streaming from this software you can actually be locally recording at the same time which means you could be live streaming to twitch uh, having your viewers watching doing whatever whatever and you can also uh, be locally recording which means you'll have a, a really good quality archive recorded directly to your computer very very handy that they've done that you've got a uh, like a tags editor here when you hit record it'll actually title the video whatever you want up here uh, with with the game you could tag the game uh, give it a description uh, we were playing survival earlier me and colossus and you can actually add tags to it as well so what what that's all for is when you go into the editing tab so we'll jump into that now it'll bring up like this basic editing system which means that you can actually cut clips out and you can share clips directly to youtube uh, in the background while you're still playing a game which is very very handy so uh, what we'll do is let's have a look i think i'm about to sneeze so give me a second <laughs> we'll see if i can hold it in so let's say we had a clip here i think there's a random we crash into the water 
All right, so let's say we just wanted to get this crash into the water and you can see here we're just scrubbing through. So this is pre-recorded video we recorded the other day. So you can see here we crash. It's me chilling in the helicopter. <laughs> so we'll go back to when it crashes. So let's say this is where we wanted to get it. We hit the scissor button, cut. It puts a keyframe there. So then we go scrub back through and you want to get to where you want your clip to end. We'll end it right there. Hit the scissor button again and it puts another keyframe in. Now what you do is you can select the rest of the clip that you want gone, hit delete. And we also want the front of the clip gone, hit delete. And what that's done is that has left us with just this short little clip. There we go. Hopefully that didn't echo. I didn't know that it have sound on it. But what you can do now is you can click it and then what you want to do is if you hit YouTube, it, if you have your account set up, you can upload directly to YouTube, uh, which is very, very cool, which means you can just quickly upload a clip to YouTube while you've been playing, uh, get a highlight out there, especially if you found a secret or something. It, it's really handy if you can get it out first and get those views first. But uh, something you can also do if you wanted to export it and put it into a more powerful editor, you hit MP4 original. And what that does is that has now created uh, that clip so I have that raw clip now, which means I could load that into Vegas, load that into After Effects uh, with a whole lot of other clips and edit it. So very, very handy. I love the fact that they've got, got a little clip editor in there and you can go back through and do it. And then if you want to go back to what game is playing now in the background, bang, you're straight back in there. I mean, that's very intuitive, very fast. There's no waiting, no messing about. Uh, very, very neat. Uh, the flashback recording was a feature I talked about a little while ago. Uh, and I'll explain what it is now. You see right down here, we've got the big red button, of course, which is record. Uh, and you've got your controls down here for your play. And you see this is highlighted live, which means what we're watching now is what's happening on the, on the Xbox. So you see this bar here, this is like a buffer. So what this does is this will actually record in the background a certain amount of video, but it's not actually uh, recording. Oh, the screen just went black. I haven't touched the controller for a long time. <laughs> so it's not actually recording it. When you close the software, it deletes that file. So it's just buffering it in the background. But the cool thing is we can rewind it back to a point in time where, let's say something amazing happened five minutes ago. I mean, this is just a taxi ride just to have something on the screen. But let's say something amazing happened five minutes ago. We could rewind back for five minutes and we go, oh, that's what we wanted right there. You hit record. And what that'll do is that'll make a five minute clip. So if you record, uh, if you go back five minutes, uh, you can see now it's recorded five minutes and 33 plus seconds. So very, very cool feature in the way that you can rewind back, pull out a clip. So let's say you were playing Grand Theft Auto Online, a, a crazy stunt happened, a crazy crash happened, and you weren't recording. If you had this active, you basically are recording and you can rewind back and just pull that clip out. Rather than having to record a great big long session and then edit out clips, you can just have your flashback active and then quickly rewind, pull that clip out and then get straight back into the game. Or you could pull that clip out, go to edit and share that clip directly to YouTube like instantaneously. Uh, very, very neat. I love how fast and responsive this software is as well. Uh, I do have a fairly fast PC with an SSD in it, so that probably helps, but uh, it's very, very responsive. You click, you go back between a, a video editing software and straight into a live capture feed. Very, very nice. Anyway, I think I've covered as much as I could cover there. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll cut it there, and what I'll do is I'll go to a screen, just go over the the features and bits and pieces just to give you a bit of a, a recap on what it can do and uh, yeah, just a, a bit of a splash screen that says this is what it can do and these are some of the features. All right, I'll be back in a second. All right, there we have it. That was my review slash overview of the Elgato Gaming Game Capture HD. Very, very impressed with the device. Very, very impressed with the software. That's the thing that impressed me the most. The software is very, very high quality. Uh, the way it's laid out, the way it's just ease of use is very, very important, uh, especially if you want to do things quickly and get them done uh, and be efficient. The, the software really, really helps you to do that. So uh, very impressed, very impressed, Elgato. Anyway, the features I think you should uh, keep in mind, uh, it's a full HD 1080p 30 frames per second capture device. Uh, Lag-free HDMI pass-through, which means there's no delay between pushing the button and then seeing what happens on your television or monitor. You can record high-quality video with commentary, edit, share them to YouTube, Twitter, your Apple devices, 
Facebook, email, whatever you've got, uh, and live stream directly from the one piece of software, which is very, very neat and very, very handy. Uh, compatible right now with the PlayStation 3, Xbox 360. Will be compatible with the Xbox One and PS4 eventually. I think they're going to have to patch those systems uh, when they are first released, but it will be compatible. It's also compatible with the Mac, and of course it's compatible with PC, and basically anything that has an unencrypted HDMI output, anything that has component video and audio output, you can use this device to record. Uh, very easy to use, which means it'd be great for anyone wanting to start a YouTube channel. So if you were just jumping into YouTube or even someone that just wanted to jump into some live streaming, uh, you could get this out of the box and you can be up and running within minutes. It's very, very easy. And of course, the flashback recording is a great feature, so you'll never miss another great moment. Again, you can rewind back and pull that, that amazing shot or that amazing jump or that amazing kill or whatever you get. You can pull it out and never miss it again. So uh, thanks to Elgato for sending this over really really happy with it the only thing the one thing that i would like you to do and if it is in there i'm sorry i couldn't find it i'd like a little checkbox that means when the program starts the microphone is active uh, i it was entirely my fault but i forgot to push the microphone button the other day and i recorded hours and hours worth of footage and it was really really good footage but it didn't record my voice because i forgot i had to push the other button to record the microphone. So if there was a setting for people like me that are forgetful that you could have the microphone active as soon as the software starts, that would really, really be handy. If there is a feature like that and I just missed it, please let me know. But if that is something you could implement, maybe in a software update, uh, I would love to see that. Just a way that you could just start the program, hit record, and you know that your voice is being recorded. Uh, so I did miss quite a lot of footage the other day. Other than that, really good job with the product the the software is very impressive uh very very impressive in fact so if there's questions anything in the video i didn't cover feel free to ask them below if it's a simple question that can answer you can get answered on google please ask google i can't answer every single question uh in the comments but if there is anything i didn't cover or anything i wasn't clear about feel free to ask and i'll see if i can get back to you once again thanks to elgato Thanks to the people that watch the video. And uh, yeah, if you are looking at a new USB-based capture device for upcoming consoles or even what you've got at the moment, this is definitely one to keep in mind. I hope you enjoyed and until the next video, we'll see you later.